10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Thanks for tuning in to New Year's Eve style Yay. multitasking. Uh, I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. And we are bringing to you today the New Year's 2020 out with the old, in with the new. 2021's so coming up. So long, 2020. Bye. Suck it. You know what? It's not recommended. It isn't. I have a hat that says it. I know. It's read. Yeah. That's $2 I've ever spent. $2, uh, huh? $2, yeah. It's like two thirty-six or something. Uh, so this is the Barrel of Bourbon New Year 2020. It is a uh, limited release. This is a mixture of five-year-old and ten-year-old bourbons. And this was... It's a mixture of bourbons from Tennessee, Texas, New York, Kentucky, and what other place that I don't remember. Hmm. I get orange on the nose. Ooh, like a uh, like an orange candy. Some oak, some peach a even. Of oak. There's some fruity. There's uh, peach. Yeah, I get peach. Yeah, there's a fruity it's, note. It's a fruit cocktail, is what it is. Fruit cocktail. And again, if you're unfamiliar with uh, barrel bourbon, they are a considered a master blender. They only do blends. Hmm. I, you know, I did not even know that. You didn't know that? No. Oh, now you know. I know it's half the battle. Half the battle. Ah, uh, uh, Jinx, you owe me a, not a coke. You owe me a Whiskey. barrel bourbon or something. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, they they. Blend everything, and this weekend, you know what we're gonna do this weekend? New Year 2021. So we'll have New Year 2021 for you coming up here in a few days. Maybe some honey. Some pecan. Like raw pecan. I get like a burnt, um, burnt butter, honey, on toast. As soon as you were saying that, I was picturing some, you're cooking something in the oven, bunch of butter on there. Well, I don't know what you cook with a bunch of butter in an oven. But it's it, not everything. But it burns and just kind of leaves that coat at the bottom. Or maybe you spill it. the oven? Yeah, that'd be stupid. So, scratch that, you're burning butter on the stove top. Anyway, bur burn butter. Yeah, as soon as you said that, I thought burnt butter. Burnt butter. There is a orange dustiness. I'm not getting any caramels. No caramels, no peppers, no cinnamons. It's a bourbon though, right? It is a bourbon. It's a mixture of five-year-old and 10-year-old I don't know why I keep looking at bourbons. the bottle like I can read it. Uh, oh yeah, well, good call. Thank you for reminding me. This is a ABV of 54.7, coming in at 109.4 proof. But yeah, I get like a fruit cocktail with burnt butter, and that's about, I don't get any of the normal bourbon smells. I don't mm -hmm. get the toffee, I don't get the caramel. And it, well, yeah. But it is a unique smell. It is. It is very unique. It's not as, you know, with bourbon, you're, you're going to get your caramels pretty much with every bourbon. Huh? This is more of an orange liqueur type of smelling. I'm going to have a go in. Have a go in. Yeah, a lot of dusty, a lot of orangeness. Orange liqueur, even. I got orange and pear um that is a unique flavor that is orange drink from when i'm five years old in elementary school with a bit of almond like an almond powder or almond flour even that is unique maybe it's some apricot it's, apricot? it's very very fruity it's a fruit cocktail yeah i just i already said fruit cocktail did you yeah I earlier i said it mm. um it's fruity and floral um, I don't get a lot of the peppers that I normally get with barrel, but there's a little bit of pepper there. There it is. Very back. Um, but it's not worthy of a pepper dance. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this to me, it's 54. Very, very smooth. Really? Comes off more about a 43, 45. -ish. Yeah, it doesn't at all come out like a 50. Uh-uh. No, I did. We need no, a little bit more of my glass there. I did, I did a good testing for it, but I think we're going to have to play with this a little bit. Are we not, we're not switching glasses, are we? I'm not drinking after you. <laughs> That's alcohol, kills whatever germs you think what? I might possess, plus you own 50% of whatever germs I have. <laughs> You're welcome. for me. Let me be chivalrous and move that up there oh, for you. Oh, look at you. Ladies first. Thank you. It is, it's going to be a good year. I can, I can tell already. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm going to give you the Charlie guarantee. 
2021? Yeah. No new pandemics. No new. None whatsoever. Oh, I don't know about that. They're already saying that the current pandemic is morphing into a well, worsening, worser pandemic. You know what that is? That's like marrying the same woman twice. You can't really get mad if the, the, the married woman again and you have the same issues. We have a buddy that did that, so I can make a joke about it. Yeah. <laughs> his first and his third wife are the same person. He's currently single. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> With a drop of water. I, you know, I bet a lot of people have done that. They've they've remarried their ex. Probably. If you've remarried your ex, throw it down in the comments. Or if you know someone who has. On the nose, it changed to kind of a medicinal note. It didn't change the nose for me at all. Um, although the taste did bring out a little bit more pepper, but not near like what I would expect from a barrel. Yeah, it's it's very it's a, it, it's not a wake you up, grab you by the shirt, shake you, wake you up kind of kind of dram. Nope. It's very it's smooth. It's more of a tap you on the shoulder yeah. and say. I'm whiskey, you know. Psst. It's kind of like the neighbor knocking on your door. Hey, neighbor, just want to let you know you have a broker, broken sprinkler head out in your yard. That'd it's be nice. that kind of. That's, nice, that's a nice neighbor. It's a nice neighbor. Yeah. You know, this is not. I want more out of a out of dram. I do. I want to. I want. I want it to shake me, wake me up. Let me know. It's sparky. It's not bad by no means. Yeah. This is a very smooth. Mm -hmm. Um. Fruity, buttery feel. Um, yeah. So it's not bad. Score time? It's not bad. It is. It is. This I'm telling you right now might be the least powerful 54 percent I've ever had on the That's palate. true. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's it's if you if you're scared of getting something over 50, get this. You will. It might not wake you up. It's not gonna disappoint you. 89, what'd you do, Gene? I did 88. Did you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, this is this for me did not cross the level of 90, which in the 90 for me is a right. must have. Uh, I really liked, we really liked the 2019 New Year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, usually um, when I when I see barrel, I'm like, oh, I know I'm gonna love that. And they've got all of the great normal bourbon flavors mm -hmm. and the peppers that I just love. Uh, however, this is somewhat disappointing for it, a barrel. Yes. To me. Disappointing, but not bad. It's not bad, but it's not what I was expecting. We have yet to have a bad barrel bourbon. And you're going to get bad and club. We've never had a right. bad Elijah Craig. Never had a bad Knob Creek. And never had a bad barrel bourbon. We've had disappointing ones, but never a bad one. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, we, is it worth it? Gene. This it was around eighty dollars. Is it worth it? To me, it is not. I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna agree with you. It's it's not. I could get. Uh, <sighs> I mean, it's it's good, but it's just not eighty dollars. We're, we're I'm right on that fence. I, I would I'd be thrilled to pay fifty for this. I'd have paid fifty for this easily. Um, eighty is a bit much for me because yeah. it's not. Quite enough on the palate. There's not quite enough on the finish. Mm -hmm. it's got a nice finish, uh, but it's it's fruity and nutty. Um, right. I don't get any char. I don't get any smoke. Uh, so yeah, it's decent. It's decent. It's decent. Buy a barrel bourbon. It's decent. <laughs> normally, normally they're very good. So um, that's about it for today. We're gonna have the review of the 2020, which we are picking up tomorrow. 2021. Yeah, we're picking that up tomorrow, or more to the point, it's getting delivered tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pop that bad boy, let it sit about 24 hours, and then uh, film a quick review and crank that out there to you just in time for the new just year. Just in time. Just in time. Anything to add, Gene? I have nothing more to add. I'm Charlie. And I'm Gene, and I hope you're just as thirsty as we are. Happy New Year!